So then you want to look down the hole and look for an area that's not very hairy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to saw the slot down here and it just has to go into the chamber, not too far. Okay, now I'm going to cut the ramp down into the sound chamber to make the wind cutter. So gently here, because you don't want to go all the way through and cut the mouthpiece off. Okay, so it's a little bit hairy there, but if you're clever you can cut that off. I just want a sharp, basically a sharp edge there. Right, I'm just going to use this dowel plate to make a fipple to go into the hole that we might drilled in the whistle earlier. And uh, you can use seasoned dowel and match it to your drill size but I prefer to do it like this and I make it out of very dry sycamore. One nice eight millimeter dowel. Take the piece of dowel that you've just made, push that into the hole Pull that back up to, to level with the end of your cut and cut that off, leaving yourself a little bit to grab hold of later on. You don't want to cut it off flush now, otherwise you might never get it out. So something to be able to grab it with your teeth. It's quite tight that one. Okay, now you want to cut some flats on this. This is called the fipple, this part. And the depth of the cut, the amount you take off it's trial and error. I've done a few of these so I know roughly the right amount, but as I said, you can always take a little bit more off, but you can't put a little bit more back on. Okay, so push that into the hole so it's level so that the flat lines up and give it a little blow. Ooh, that's very high. So you take the fipple out. drill just back into the hole. Make sure it's not on hammer. Take out a little bit more wood. So effectively you can kind of tune these. Still quite high. Now, you, now you've made sure that's got the right sound, you can glue that in. Okay, so just, just a little bit, little bit of glue on the fipple. And that will start to swell quite quickly as well now, and especially if it's a tight fit, so you've got to be quite quick doing this. Push it in until it's flush with the end of the saw cut you made and parallel with the wind cutter. Just give it another little toot to make sure. Okay we're just going to cut the end off the fipple now, flush with the end of the mouthpiece. Clean that end up a little bit because there's some glue and stuff in there that you don't want in people's mouths. and start to form the mouthpiece. Now you want that to be parallel with this flat cut on the fipple. Something like that. Okay, so once you cut that flat on there, put that flat down so it doesn't rock and cut the bottom out. You want this to be parallel obviously with the top cut and you can take quite a lot of wood off here. <coughs> because you, 
want to form a nice ergonomic mouthpiece. That's quite good, it could go thinner than that. Something like that. Okay, now I like to just trim these all these edges and the corners off to make it even more ergonomic because it's going to go in little mouths. And just a little cut to take all the corners off. Okay, now just a little chamfer on the bottom of that. And there's your whistle.